I think the idea of eco-socialism, if I had uh, more scope I could easily say eco-feminist socialism, it's terribly important for an engagement with degrowth and environmental justice because there are certain conceptual limits that eco-socialism can assist by adding a dialectical tension, especially when environmental justice fights the logic of ecological modernization. And what ecological modernization brings are technicist planning strategies, and often within the market, often uh, without any sense of society and justice. So its problems are obvious, but sometimes environmental justice needs to challenge and to radicalize, as David Harvey has said, the environmental, uh, the ecological modernization conceptions. And in that process, I think the route forward would be eco-socialism because it explicitly challenges capitalism, sometimes on its own terms. And where degrowth enters this debate most fruitfully, in my view, is that if you talk about eco-socialism and the crisis of capitalism, being not only a catastrophic environmental threat, but also the internal logic of capitalist crisis, then degrowth is a site where the devalorization of capital, its um, a crash, as we saw in 2008-9, and we will see again, its um, austerity regime for poor and working people and women, um, and its degradation of the environment in that process. That capitalist crisis and devalorization requires degrowth activists to enter. And I think the only solution, not displacement of the crisis, but solution, is an eco-socialist project, which entails transcending profit as the uh, logic and fighting back against devalorization of the sort we saw in 2008-9 in, in Greece forever, in Africa forever. And it's there that we're going to see uh, an eco-socialist logic challenge capitalism and a degrowth challenge devalorization according to capitalism and conjoin with a project that would defend the environment and defend poor and working people and defend women uh, and defend in a sense the possibility of a commons and the commons then in turn which we've seen in sites like antiretroviral medicines for HIV positive people or water decommodification struggles. Any number of struggles over the commons can be one of those crucial uh, transition sites to get to a broader eco-socialist democracy where we can plan a world that is not threatened by capitalism.